Survival's about more than living. It's about living free. That wasn't flying. That was falling with style. Hello, Rocky here, your resident Apex wifey and guest host, and today we're going to be talking about something interesting you may have noticed in Season 15 of Apex Legends. There were no new buffs or nerfs, but there's a very specific reason for this, and that's that they're reworking the entire class system. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're also going to do a giveaway for $43.21, so all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe, and now let's talk about those updates. So as some of you may have noticed, one of the biggest dragging points of Season 15 is the fact that there were no Legend buffs or nerfs throughout the entire roster. And with that, the pick rate for Legends really hasn't changed at all. Octane has actually still maintained his number one spot, Catalyst has dropped down to number two, and Crypto, Rampart, Newcastle all set at the bottom, despite the fact that Newcastle is a fairly good competitive pick. But there was actually a reason that most people aren't aware of on why they decided not to do a majority of buffs and nerfs going into the season. Big one for Seer is the fact that they are actually looking at redoing the scan roll. However, because he is getting an heirloom this season and we all have seen it with the sickle, which does seem to be a two-handed weapon, he's not going to get any until they actually decide to sell that thing, you know, because they have to make their money. But for the rest of the legends, they don't really seem to have that excuse. Other than maybe Wraith, who developers did say that they were looking at doing a tweak to actually make her better, which would make sense because we also have the Wraith Prestige skin being released this season. However, I do find it funny that in the question, they asked how the current 120 frames per second was going, and they just completely ignored it. So don't count on that anytime soon. But the most likely reason that the rest of the legends did not receive any buffs or nerfs is the fact that we've known for a while due to a leak that I got that they are actually adding in new legend classes. Game Rant actually published my information, although they did spell my name without an R, so apparently I guess I'll go by Thodan now. Now this information came about two seasons ago that they were working on putting in five new classes and reworking passives around them. This would make sense because certain characters like Pathfinder don't really fit with the rest of the recon legends like Seer, Bloodhound, and Crypto who can all scan, yet they all have the same ability to scan a beacon. Respawn themselves actually two months ago in an AMA actually touched on this point and when asked about support legends They said that they are working on a new one for the future Which is that caliber leak we went over just the other day as he will be the next support legend added to the game Importantly, they want to bring a more balanced roster of class roles to the table at the future at some point Which actually directly confirms the fact that there are new classes being added to the game And I imagine they're coming right around the corner because you wouldn't do a bunch of buffs and nerfs for legends If you had brand new class roles to be rolled out and to even add on to that further when we saw the dev stream for season 15, Abarelli actually noticed a support bin that said it could only be used by support legends. Now this is an internal build of the game, something that Respawn is testing, and it does seem like Loba or any other future support legends will get a class passive that allows them to open this. There was actually a great list made by some members of the community about new classes that they could do, such as a mobility perk gunrunner where you can hit fireable sprinting at the cost of reduced accuracy, and that would go for characters like Wraith, Octane, and Horizon. There's a whole list of them here and they're all very good. In fact, the bottom one secret compartment is actually what we saw on that dev stream. Sometimes I see stuff like this and I actually wonder if it's the devs who made this and then decided to put it online to see the feedback of the community before they go forward with it. Because that support perk is directly what we saw on the dev stream. Now with those new passives coming into the game and new classes that will make the abilities of the legends a little bit more flexible, do expect still regular buffs and nerfs to happen. We know for example that Revenant has been talked about by John Larson as something that they want to work on because his pick rate is low and they sell a lot of his skins so they want to make him a little bit more popular so that it can sell those skins. They've also been very vocal with the community where Lubwa and John Larson talked about fixing Loba's bracelet and although he doesn't think it's going to go the same route of reducing the cooldown on it, more likely they are taking a look at the animation because that seems to be more of the crux of the issue. And while it does suck that in season 15 we really didn't get any major changes to the legends and the abilities or really the way that they play, it is nice to know that they are actually doing a complete rework on the entire system which should actually make it much more versatile in the future and fit better with a such a large roster of characters as we are reaching a breaking point with a ton of characters in this game, all with kind of overlapping abilities to a degree. Don't worry, I'm fine, the cat's fine, everyone's fine. That's our video for today. Let me know down in the comments below what you would want to see most for new legend abilities. And as always, legends, keep slaying in the Atlans, and we'll see you out there.